In the bush on our place, there is what is left of a tree. Too big to be called a stump, but no longer a living tree. There is a cleft in its base in which there is a beehive. This has been an active hive for more than 35 years. In summer, if the number of bees becomes too large, the queen bee, with her loyal workers, may leave the hive in search of a new home. While searching for a suitable home, the swarm will rest, forming a clump of bees surrounding the queen. It is at this time that the swarm is at risk to the activities of the predatory amateur beekeeper. with all the padding. Huh? The padding or is that just air holes? Air, air holes but it's padded so that the stings hopefully you know further away from your skin. Primary is about twice the size of that normally, and they're still a good swarm. The uh, guide bees, for want of a better word, and they're going in quite fast now. They settle, they've got a nice, nice dark area of new wax frames so they can start building a new home. But, then, come, come. Now they're cranky, now they're hitting. So you're doing your best to stir them up? Yeah, soon know when you've got the queen, when these start flying and they're going in, the queen's in there. The sentinels for the pheromones, they'll be going do, do, do. that's when they get really mad. But the bees won't tell the difference between the uh, guide bees, for want of a better word, and they're going in quite fast now. Okay, so it's got an entrance on either end, has it? No, there's no entrance on that end other than the, the box. Oh, the okay, end. right. Um, being their own marshes, so beside that at the end they want them to go. 